Hello everybody, so I thought I would come out here and talk to you guys <clears throat> a little bit about Population One. <clears throat> now, Population One is a, uh, it's a VR game that, uh, it's completely free. It, um, it kind of adopts the same, uh, it's, it's a battle royale, it's a battle royale, basically, but it's kind of, kind of a low rent battle royale I hope you like my coffee cup by the way it's got a frog on it and a mushroom and a wizard hat I don't know I don't get it but I like it so I bought it um anyway so what I think it's like a 16 player total maybe 20 it's not a lot of players um, it's not Call of Duty where you got a hundred players it is like um, uh, it's 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 like battle royale for kids, right? And um, first thing you notice if you play uh, Population One, you're going to notice a lot of kids in this fucking game. Now, <clears throat> if you're one of these people who, who I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Oh, it's dry out here. So if you're one of these people that doesn't want anything to do with children, you should, you're going to be muting a lot of people. For me, I, I try to tolerate these damn kids until they make me mad, and then I mute them. Some of them I mute them very quickly, especially if they ask me anything inappropriate. But, um, just prepare for that. If you don't, if, if you don't want to play with kids, um, or if you'd be happy, like, if you're happy playing with people muted all the time, you'll probably not mind the kids being in the game. But it's hard, because sometimes you join, and the kids are the only ones that are playing. Like, some of these games just appeal to children. It's a free-to-play game. That's just what happens. Um, but regardless, so it's got a big map similar to, to Call of Duty. Um, you got a... Um, you got a, a bar, you got like a farm area, which is really just a bunch of barns and hay. They stage hay out in the open area, and then you have some barns. It's not a very good farm. It's, there's no livestock or anything like that. But um, they have uh, a graveyard. They have all these various lo locations. Um, <clears throat> it, the graphics in this game, like... It kind of reminds me of Halo 1, but Halo 1 had better lighting and textures. This game, um, you know, it's an Oculus, it's a Meta Quest. I'm playing on the Quest 3. It's probably meant to play on whatever freaking Meta device you could put it on, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a low rent game. But, um, that's fine. You know, the graphics really don't hurt the game. <clears throat> um, Let's, let's think of the so you can fly in the game. When the game starts, you're up high on a platform. You're not in an airplane. You have these, um, you climb into these containers and you hit the button and you fly to a destination on the map. And uh, sometimes you go further than other times, but what you can do is you can pull that lever and then jump out and fly wherever you want. Or you can just run right off the platform and fly. Um, and then you hit, you know, you land somewhere and you just start looting. You just find some guns as quick as you can to defend yourself. Um, they have, you can pick up shields. With, some of them are just like these blue things and then you just grab them and you get shields. Some of them are these shaker cans where you shake them up and drink them. Um, those, you know, once someone tells you how to do it, it's no problem. The cans... They have these damn cans, these pop, these cans, you pop the top and you drink them. I have a bitch of a time opening them. I've been playing the game for at least 12 hours. I often struggle to open these cans to the point where I just don't pick them up, even when I need shields. Um, I've been shot to death trying to get these things popped open before. It's just not worth it. Um, all the guns are pretty basic. <clears throat> You got a semi-auto shotgun that holds six rounds. 
you got a, 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 a shotgun that holds two rounds, um, you got uh, a, an assault rifle, uh, which is like a full auto thing with like a 30 round crib, clip, you got double double Uzis, you know, two handed Uzis, you got um, an MP9, oh, excuse me, you got, you know, it, it's very basic. Um, it's not like Call of Duty where it seems like there's a lot of detail to the guns. It's all kind of generic. It's not really a game to get into if you're like a huge gun nut. Because Call of Duty is good for gun nuts. You can customize things like crazy. This game, there's no customization except you can upgrade your guns by just... You pick up cash on the ground and then you upgrade by going higher in the tier, the star tier. So you can... It's a one to five stars. Sometimes you pick them up and they already have three stars or more. You're just upgrading that simple star system. You're not upgrading the mag, you're not upgrading the fire rate, you're just, just one bullet point to work with. Um, but overall, <clears throat> my biggest complaint with the game overall is um, I play later in the evening, like eight o'clock west coast time is when I start at the earliest and even then it feels like there's just not uh, a lot of players on and um, it's kind of frustrating because like some people are like yeah get a team together find some friends and party up and I'm like even if I had enough people to form a full team you still end up playing with a lot of bots. Like, do I need to find 16 friends that are playing all at the same time? Like, it just, they need more people playing. And they break up the audience. So, there's a few different battle royale modes. There's a handful of hangout modes. There's like eight different places you could jump into. And it's just too much. It's splitting up the audience. I really think they only should have one battle royale and a couple multiplayer game modes and that's all and if people don't like the game modes they have to offer they can deal with it because you already have a small audience at least at the time of night I'm playing um, they're not really patching this game or making it better so it's a little concerning because I could see people like me like I'm already starting to get bored um, you know, I, this isn't the first video game I've played. This is not the first Battle Royale that I've played. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, you've seen this game play before. It's fun playing it in VR. That's a twist that Call of Duty Warzone does not have. But, um, <clears throat> all in all, it, it's been a lot of fun for whatever the 12 hours I've played I don't know how much more of this game uh, is, is going to entertain me like I'm already starting to get bored um, but uh, should you play this game yeah I think it will provide you with some uh, a handful of hours of entertainment um, that you won't regret um, will it make some people have been playing for a long time and they've not gotten bored. I'm already getting bored. So I, I kind of hope they, they continue to add to this experience. Um, <clears throat> I hope that they give people reasons to show up. They need to build their player base. Like, 100% they need to grow their player base because no one's playing. Like, I get on, like I said, at 8 o'clock. That's that's fairly late as far as east coast time goes but there's always people playing call of duty and i know it's not fair to compare this game to call of duty but like i don't know like if a game's worth its salt it just shouldn't be dead at eight o'clock so anyway <clears throat> pick up population one it's completely free if you would like to play with me send me leave a comment i'll i'll, I'll get you my uh my uh, gamer tag on Oculus. So, anyway, thanks for watching. That that's my. These aren't quite early impressions. I, I have played for like 12ish hours. Um, 
those are my impressions. As far as difficulty goes, like if you're concerned that you won't be able to compete, don't worry about it. Like there are some good players, but it's it's like 50-50 or, or, or less when it comes to good players. Like you end up playing a lot of garbage players too, and you'll you'll end up getting number one with you you and your team. You'll get number one even if you're bad. So. Um, it's not Call of Duty where I've been playing Warzone on and off for a long time and I've never gotten number one. I've gotten two, never number one. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Those are my Population 1 opinions.